Zizzerby Kids TV, where learning never stops. Hooray! Hello, young explorers. Welcome to another exciting animal adventure with me, Alina. Today, we'll be getting up close and personal with three incredible creatures, the bee, the butterfly, and the ladybug. Are you ready to discover the wonders of these tiny friends? Let's dive in. First up, we have the busy bee. There are over 20,000 bee species worldwide, including the honeybee, which originated in Eurasia and has been imported around the globe as a domesticated species. Wild bee species live on every continent except Antarctica. Bees are amazing pollinators that help plants grow by transferring pollen from one flower to another. Look at their fuzzy bodies and those busy wings. Bees have four wings that help them zip and zoom around. This beautiful insects make that buzzing sound by rapidly moving their wings. It's like a little symphony in the garden. Did you know that bees do a special dance to communicate with each other? It's like a secret code telling other bees where to find the best flowers. Check out those long antennae. Bees use them to smell and feel their surroundings. Ever seen a bee sipping nectar from a flower? That's thanks to their long, straw-like proboscis. In every hive, there's a special bee called the queen. She's the leader and lays all the eggs. Queen bees can live for a year and workers for a month. All female bees have stingers. Male bees, however, do not have stingers. Fun fact, kids, bees take the pollen and nectar back to their hives and put it into the honeycomb. Six-sided cells they have built out with wax. Pollen is like protein, one of the building blocks of the animal bodies. They use that to feed their young mostly. But the nectar is what they turn into honey. Now let's flutter into the world of butterflies. Butterflies are like flying pieces of art. They come in all sorts of vibrant colors and patterns. Look at those delicate wings. Butterflies have six jointed legs, a pair of antennae, and three body parts called a head. Thorax, chest, and abdomen, tail end. This amazing insects go through a remarkable transformation called metamorphosis. They start as tiny eggs, then become caterpillars, form a chrysalis, and finally emerge as beautiful butterflies. Isn't that awesome, little ones? If you look closely, a butterfly's wings are covered in tiny scales that give them their dazzling colors. Guess what? Butterflies can taste with their feet. When they land on a flower, they use sensors in their feet to taste if it's a good place to lay eggs or find nectar. Fun fact, kids. Did you know that butterflies can escape cold weather by migrating to a warmer region? Some migrating butterflies, such as the painted lady and cabbage butterfly, fly only a few hundred miles, while others, such as the monarch, travel thousands of miles. Last but not least, let's meet the lovely ladybug. Ladybugs are small, round beetles with distinctive spots. They're not just cute, they're also beneficial to gardens. Ladybugs come in different colors, not just red. You can find them in shades of orange, yellow, and even black. Nature loves to surprise us, doesn't it? These vibrant insects have antennae, too. They use them to sense the environment around them. Ladybugs have special wing covers called elytra that protect their delicate flying wings. Fun fact, kids. On average, the entire life cycle of a ladybug takes up to two years to complete. During the adult and final life stage, ladybugs can live up to one year. There are approximately 5,000 species of ladybugs, displaying a range of color patterns. You may be wondering, what do ladybugs eat? Ladybugs feed on a wide variety of small insects and insect eggs. Their favorite food is aphids, but they also eat small spiders, mealybugs, and other insects and mites they can attack and subdue. And there you have it, little explorers. Bees, butterflies, and ladybugs are truly amazing creatures. Next time you're outside, see if you can spot any of these tiny wonders. Remember, nature is full of incredible surprises waiting for us to discover. Until next time, I'm Elena. Keep exploring and stay curious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on more exciting adventures. Bye for now. And there you have it, kids. I hope you had fun. Until next time, Stay curious and happy learning. Goodbye.